Hey, what's up guys, it's Fishy and welcome back my glorious bannerman to some more North and South mod for Shogun 2 Total War. Today we're going to be continuing on the last battle. Uh, we kind of, because it crashed, we decided to go ahead and just kind of add in another battle, like a day two of that battle, uh, to go ahead and try and create an awesome scenario. So we are still at Fort Wagner. Uh, hopefully the, the Confederate forces will be able to hold. What I've done is I've gone ahead and left four units actually in the fort and then kind of left a reinforcement army out here. These guys will be turning up uh, a little bit into the battle and when I left the main main confederacy army out here being led by the general these guys are going to turn up a little bit later to the battle so to kind of give you know a feeling that the confederacies just have to hold as best as they can and hopefully uh, it will be very interesting because yeah as I said I'm only leaving a thousand men in the fort and I gave the union forces a lot of men you can see this look at their armies just stretch I gave them like 10,000 men so the balance of power is definitely not looking very good in our favour. Also, we're using uh, the new patch for the mod 0.4. So it actually adds in skirmisher units, which is really awesome to see, for sure. Uh, being able to actually go ahead and use these bad boys. These guys wreck as well. I think they've got like a, a, a carbine or something, like something which shoots a lot quicker than the normal musket. That's going to be good to see. You can see they're already opening up, which is cool. And these guys were a part of the original army, the, re no, the reinforcement army, sorry. But these guys traveled all throughout the entire day just sprinting to get here because they know they need to get here to go ahead and help defend the fort before the, the main reinforcement Confederacy army can turn up. So these guys went ahead and dropped everything which wasn't necessary and just tried to get here as quickly as possible. You can see they're just volleying out. They shoot really, really quickly as well, just tearing apart the, the Union forces. You can see the death and destruction. These guys do actually need to fall back though. I don't want to go ahead and lose these guys because they are going to be very valuable to me winning. Because look at the balance of power, it's hugely in their favor. And this isn't even the main like force. It's taken into account all these guys fighting as well. So we might have to even try and have to retake the fort from the unions if they go ahead and beat back this original force. So let's go ahead and get the, the troops ready to go ahead and mount up on top of the fort. It's up to you guys to go ahead and hold for as long as possible. The nice thing is though, we can have a really effective uh, firing system by, by sticking these skirmishes just in front of the of uh, the infantry. So it means that these guys will just be able to shoot out so many shots. And it might be a bit laggy. You can see it's kind of lagging a little bit here. This is just because I've got so many men on the field. Hopefully towards the end it'll kind of clump up a bit. But you've got to remember I have like... The, yeah, the Union forces have like 10,000 men on the field. Which is going to be pretty crazy. So I've got my, my Tigers up here. Ready to shoot. I think these are the Louisiana Tigers. Maybe not. Maybe it's the other unit. Are these the Louis... No, these are the Maryland... Maryland. Oh yeah, these are the Maryland troops, I think. I don't know, because of the new patch, like, some of the names are a bit greyed out and stuff because it doesn't say on the unit anymore. Oh good, these guys are going to have to be able to open up. First volley. Oh god, look at that. Just completely shutting them down straight away. Good job. Hopefully the skirmishers can get up here very soon and start volleying as well. And Oh my god, I feel sorry for this one unit. They're going to be charging up. Yeah, they're just turning straight away and getting the hell out of there. That's very smart. Look at the cannon as well up there. My firing positions are amazing. But the nice thing is that the AI have just sent like a small force, like a scouting force of like five or six divisions to go ahead and see see what happens. I should get some volleys off and stuff. Why have my cannon crew got off the cannons? Get back on the cannons, boys, please. You're pretty vital to me winning. I need these cannons to be shooting 24-7. So we've gone ahead and managed to push back the, the first initial scouting force, but now the first army, oh my god, that cannon shot was amazing. Cut through two units. So now the first actual army turns up, and this is going to be the first real test now. We've got the secondary army coming as well, a little bit further back. But yeah, the, the first army is going to be it. I mean, I feel like we're going to end up losing this fort, you know. I gave him a lot of troops. So let's go ahead and start advancing the, the first like reinforcement army. These guys are just, we'll march them obviously, we don't want to run to battle. These guys went ahead and ran ahead of, much like the skirmishers, but because these guys carry more equipment, these guys turn up to the battle a little bit later than the skirmishers did. Our men are from the battle. Get ready boys, you Louisiana Tigers are going to have to hold your ground along with the skirmishers. And just hold. Because if they get in close quarters to us, they're going to slaughter us. Even if they start shooting and trading fire with us, they're going to slaughter us. Solely because they just have so many men. They have like triple, even, though, if, even if not like quadruple the amount of guns we have. So if all them guns start shooting, it's going to be a massacre. 
but it's just getting to my lines first, which is going to kind of take them a little while to actually get to, to my, my defensive positions. You know, I might be able to push back the first army. I might be able to push back most of the second army, but it's going to be a struggle. Brave Confederacy troops, because all we have to do is start getting into close quarter combat, stop me from shooting, and then the rest of the, the units can really get close, you know. If they stop my skirmishers from, from firing, it means that the rest of the troops can actually go ahead and get up into the battle. But you can see the, the amount of fire my rifles are putting up, along with, I, I feel like these are carbines, but I, I have no idea. I don't want to go ahead and say it and be completely wrong. So let me know if you know, like, if you guys know what, like, kind of type of rifles for skirmishers we're using at this time. Yeah, please do let me know because it'd be interesting to see in the comments. But, I mean, they look like rifles, but they just seem to be shooting really quickly. Maybe these guys, I think these guys actually have a different, yeah, these guys might have carbines and the other guys have rifles, maybe? Because, look, yeah, they're, like, more of, like, a cavalry rifle right there. Oh, my God, do my cannons, my cannons are still shooting. What are these guys doing? Get back on your goddamn cannon! <laughs> So yeah, you can see that the Union are going to be using their numbers and actually start getting really close to me now. This is not good. How are these guys? Yeah, these guys are pretty much here. Let's go ahead and form these dudes up because we're going to need like a fullback position here ASAP. Oh, the smoke as well is making it hard for me to see in the night time. Nice, we managed to route them back there. Over here though, we're not so lucky. We have to go and counter charge there. The cannons. We'll go and stick on canister shot if we can. Oh my god, that volley was brutal. Let's go and just charge down then, boys. We're going into melee. Yeah, and they completely overwhelmed me on this right-hand side. So let's go ahead and start the movement of the reinforcements. We're just going to be marching these guys to begin with. So let's go ahead and just start them, because I feel like these guys are going to have to retake the fortress. But I don't want them to run either. I want them to like be marching for now. So let's go and tell them to be marching. I do not want these guys to be charging. God, look at that lag as well. It's just so many soldiers here. So many. Well, I'm going to tell the general to walk as well. Oh, damn. I forgot to tell these guys. We're just going to have to charge with these guys, I think. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Into battle, boys. As they charge. Yeah, it's not looking too good for me over here. I mean, my, my Louisiana Tigers are doing an amazing job, but everywhere else is kind of kind of lacking a bit. I feel like just getting my men into melee would probably be a good idea. I have one unit over here about to reform, but yeah, my right flank is completely gone now. Uh, you guys just charge. I feel like we're better in melee, especially with like a special unit like this. I think these are the Maryland or Maryland. Uh, Maryland uh, special unit, so they're going to just charge in. I feel like they'll be able to do better in, in, in combat when they don't have as many guns shooting us. Ah, uh, but it looks like we're going to be routing over there. Yeah, we're routing everywhere. The fort has been lost. That's not good. We have one unit which has run to the battle. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and start forming up our formations to try and reclaim it. Let's go and get the men there. We're going to have to try our best to do this. It's going to be very, very difficult. And we'll send you guys. As long as we're just in a decent formation, we should be good. So by the looks of it, the first, the first Union army actually managed to go ahead and hold their own and actually go ahead and take it. They are charging. Oh, no, this is Confederacy forces, thank God. These are my routing units. This is not as scary now. So if we just go ahead, if these guys need to form up now, like, ASAP. We need to get these guys on top of this hill, ready to shoot. And ready to put down fire on the enemy forces. Oh, some of our men have come back from routing as well. Our skirmishers, that's good. We need these guys. So we'll go ahead and form these guys up here. Tell them to run and get on top of that hill. Because these guys are, I think these guys are the ones with the carbines. So if we get them up and shooting, that'll be really effective for us. And hopefully some of these routing troops come back. But, you know, the first Union army actually managed to push us back. The second one hasn't even arrived yet. And you can see the lag is starting to subside now, which is cool. God, boys, you get ready. Just shoot at anything that moves. The general is here now, so that should hopefully help for morale. We have our rally abilities and stuff if stuff really starts looking grim. But again, we need to make sure we, we don't get outflanked. Oh, good shooting, boys. Good shooting. Look at that. That's going to be a massacre. They're just sh charging, though. Are they? Let's just charge ourselves. Into combat we go, boys. Look at the, the Union flag as well and the Confederacy flag being held high. Volleys from the back though. 
This mod is really, really cinematic. It just looks awesome, especially at nighttime as well. It's very eerie. So we have a rifle shooting. We need to be breaking their soldiers to our flanks. If we can manage to kill the flanking units, I feel like we might actually stand a chance. Good job, boys. You managed to redeem yourself because they were the routing units, so they managed to actually push them back. Oh, routing again. We have some reinforcements left as well. Some more men have come back from routing. We'll push these guys up. But our superior firepower now is, is going good. The, the troops which have managed to take the fort are not doing a good job at holding it. So hopefully we can push them back. We've got some Confederate troops over here on the left flank doing a good job at picking apart the, the coloured infantry regiments. These guys have managed to reform now. Come on, boys. You should be shoot. Oh, no, I need to take you off. Come on, boys. Shoot. I need to take them off melee only, I think. There we go. Now they're reloading. Come on, boys. Wait until you see the whites of their eyes, which you can basically see. And look how cool that looks up there. And we're just going to be volleying away. But look at their numbers. Their lines just stretch. And I'm scared for when the secondary Union army comes, because this is going to be very soon. You can see the Japanese lantern as well just floating in the sky, which is funny. Just keep up the fire, boys. But everyone needs to be shooting as well. Why aren't these guys shooting? You need to be volleying, boys. Especially this smaller unit over here. Our right flank, by the looks of it, has been pretty much wiped out. We need to, What we need to do is we need to get into melee on this right side. We need to clump up, get ready for them to come really close, and then just straight up charge them. I'm going to go ahead and support that with two units over here on that charge. Oh my god, the, the secondary Union army is just coming over the hill now. I think our only way of victory here is to go into a deep melee and we just charge. Oh no, my infantry's running! No, rally, boys! Oh, I should have used that rally a lot, long time ago. Come on, boys, you coming back? Yes, you're coming back! That is awesome. Counter charge, we need to go into death ball mode where we just charge them. That's the only way we'll go ahead and retain this fort. Oh, we need to get rid of this unit as well. On our flank, the Iron Brigade flanking us. Typical Iron Brigade, hey? Yeah, you boys need to charge. You boys need to charge. Got the general running me down. God, this will be an, an epic last charge. But the looks of it there, are going to overwhelm us. The balance of power is not looking good. Should I withdraw the general? That's the question. Should he get the hell out of here? Can you even do that on this game? I don't think you can, so he's going to have to go ahead and die. For Rafferun in the world's end, we've got some men coming back, but not many. But the looks of it, the union will be successful at claiming this fort. Our general was running, try his best. And that flag is just being right, risen high. A black, day. a black day indeed, boys. A black day indeed. More and more forces. So unfortunately, the Union forces were just too much for us Confederates. We couldn't hold them back. But now this gives us an opportunity. If you guys want to see it, I could then attack the next day as the Confederacy, like to try and go ahead and reclaim this. So we would be attacking from this direction, granted. Uh, but maybe I could try and get Apollo to come and play this with me, and we I could go ahead and try and attack and take it as the Confederacy as he tries and defends. I hope you guys enjoy this mod. It always does really well on my channel, so I, I really appreciate all the all the likes and views and stuff. It really does help out the actual video and the channel itself, so a massive thank you for that. So yeah, in the comments, let me know if you want to see a, set, a third day battle as the Confederacy forces try and reclaim this fortress from the Union. Um, it'd be really awesome to do, and hopefully I can get maybe Apollo to come and help me out or something to make it so that the, the AI actually defends. That'd be awesome. So uh, yeah, as I said, make sure to drop a like and a comment. I'll see you guys next time, and fish out.